what you see before you is maybe the most dangerous fossil that there is. Now you look at this and you go, well, that's just a normal sauropod rib, right? Well, it actually has a hidden danger. That hidden danger, as you can tell from what I'm wearing, is radiation. Now I'm gonna talk a little bit while this goes up, but this fossil's from the Morrison Formation, and the Morrison Formation has a lot of uranium in it, which means that sometimes, so do the fossils. Well, it looks like it's stabilized. So it's stabilized at roughly 1.3 microsieverts per hour, which sounds really bad, right? Well, it's actually not that bad. Like I could even like, I'm a married man. I'm not gonna kiss this fossil. But anyway, it sounds really bad, but it's actually not that bad. If you think about 1.3 sounds terrible, but background radiation can be anywhere from like 0.13 to 0.28 microsiever. It's actually when we were uh, filming it down there, it was at 0.18. So yes, that's several times normal, but seeing as though normal is almost nothing, it's not that big of a deal. That being said, I probably wouldn't keep this in my pocket or under my pillow for several months at a time, but it's not actually something that's too dangerous. Like I said, this is from the Morrison Formation, which a lot of you are really familiar with. You may not know it, but it's where dinosaurs like Brachiosaurus, Allosaurus, Barosaurus, it's where those guys come from. And it does have uranium in it, which leads to this. It's not super uncommon for a fossil to be radioactive, but it is uncommon for it to be this radioactive, which is why I decided to wear all this protective equipment for comedic value. Well, that is where we're going to end this week's Fossil of the Week, our most rad episode ever. Uh, but I do want to say before we go, you don't really have to worry too much about fossils being radioactive when you find them, but there are some rocks which are extremely radioactive, as we're going to show you in a video in a few weeks here. A little spoiler for you guys. Thank you guys so much, and we'll catch you next time.